Getting the best from any business seems to be the focus during the current economic climate. We hear a lot about downsizing and right-sizing, but what do those terms mean and what are the advantages? Joining me in the studio today is Dr Tony Miller, international consultant and productivity guru. Tony, welcome. Thank you. Now, why do organisations need to downsize or right-size? Well, organisations were basically designed, that's probably 95% of all organisations, back in 1760 by a guy called Adam Smith. And although the design worked very well at that time, things have changed. And as organisations grow, they get bigger and unfortunately more ineffective. So we have two tools that we can use, downsizing and right size, which if you like is to trim them up and get them back into shape. What are the differences between those two? Well, uh, downsizing is taking out layers of the organisation. This is quite a complicated thing to do. Very often takes a year or two years to actually carry out. Most of the Fortune 100 companies have done downsizing and of course it's very, very efficient. We sometimes call it delayering or getting to the flat organisation. But it is a specialist job and there are risks associated with it. Now right sizing on the other hand is much simpler to do and certainly in the current economic climate is something that can be easily carried out within a six month time frame. To do this we have a number of formulas we can use so it really is like a mathematical modelling tool and by using that we can very very quickly ascertain whether or not an organisation is the right size or whether it's overstaffed. And from some of the work we've done, it's very obvious that a lot of organisations, both in the public and in the private sector, are overstaffed by as much as 20%. Now, why is it that organisations are too big? It's a very good question. Um, the, the, the problem, or the main problem, goes back to some of the very basics. Poor recruitment. Poor recruitment followed by poor training. And on top of all that, we have uh, a lot of organisations have an inability to sort out poor performance. So the managers just want more staff in order to compensate. So the organisation grows and grows and grows until it's no longer effective or, if you like, fit for purpose. So what's your advice to an organisation as to how they should get into fit shape? OK, well, in the current situation, if you're looking for a short-term fix, there are two or three things you can do. But my advice would be to go for right-sizing, use the mathematical calculation, work out the figures, put it into operation. It can be done within about six months and you'll get immediate returns for your investment. Tony, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.